Hi guys. So this is going to be a lecture on, or a video on the kind of the introduction to the class. <clears throat> so the first thing that I wanna talk about is I wanna talk about what the class is about. So the class is basically about two parts. And I mentioned this briefly in my syllabus video, but um, it's about computers in general. And it's also about um, Microsoft Office and how to use a particular or those particular programs. So really we have Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Access. Those are the four pieces of software we'll be covering. We'll also be covering theoretical material about computers um, <clears throat> from a, a section of the book called Computer Concepts. And we'll have four tests on that material. We'll have two tests on the Computer Concepts material. We'll have two tests, uh, and the second one is our final, on the software stuff. Um, <clears throat> there'll also be, for the software stuff, four assignments you have to do. And the four assignments are accessed through Cengage Unlimited. And uh, you download files and you upload your completed work. And then it gives you a grade. Now, for the software assignments, I will give you five attempts at each one. So basically it means, if you do it early, that um, you can work on the project, upload it, have it graded, then you will get a report that shows you what it is that you missed. And then you can fix those, upload it again, and hopefully get a better score. And you can do that up to five times. So you should be getting very, very close to 100% for each one of the assignments. And by the way, like the word assignment has three parts. So there's actually three things that you have to do for the word assignment. I just call it one assignment. Uh, for Excel, there's four parts. For PowerPoint, there's three. And I think for Access, there's two or three. Um, it all depends on how Access works. Now, having said that, uh, let's take a look at um, our Canvas page. So let me share that screen. There we go. At least I think I'm sharing that screen. So this is our Canvas homepage. And uh, on our Canvas homepage, see if you click on home right here, you'll see that there are six links, <clears throat> which happens to be images. So the first thing that you should do is you should click on the start here link. Things you need to do, read the syllabus. Uh, make sure that you understand that there's a grant if you buy Cengage Unlimited through the campus store. <clears throat> and you get a grant of $500 and $250, depending on how many units you have. So if you have 10 units or more, you get $500 as a grant and nine units or fewer, and you get $250 unit, uh, dollars as a grant. I think the Cengage Unlimited uh, costs 120 bucks. So either one, you should be covered. Now, Cengage Unlimited is basically just an access code. So what you need to do is, um, oh, by the way, uh, if you have other classes that use Cengage Unlimited, you only need one access code. So you only need it once. Having said that, um, you get access for our class uh, to the book which is in electronic form and uh, to the um, assignments. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I have a cough. Um, it's not COVID. You can create a account, even if you haven't bought the software yet. And by the way, you can buy it through the campus bookstore directly or through their website. Um, 
you can create an account, but make sure that you use your Chafee email address. Okay. Um, and we'll talk about how to do that uh, in a minute or two. Uh, remember that you need to check your email account regularly, your Chafee email account regularly, because I will post announcements. <laughs> also check the Canvas page for this class regularly, because the announcements will also show up uh, on the homepage. <clears throat> now, since we're asynchronous, which means that we don't actually have class times, uh, I will be doing uh, two student hours a week. And I will do student hours uh, whenever, if you can't make it to either one of those two student hours, um, uh, I'll make, uh, we can get together at some point uh, at a different time. Uh, we'll, I'll just host a Zoom meeting. Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you to check in with me uh, within this first week and or second week in one of the, the Zoom meetings that I have, um, just so that I know that you are, you want to take this class, you're serious about taking the class, etc. cetera. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, I can cover that. So try to make it to one of those. If you can't make it to one of those, send me an email. And remember that when you send me an email with your intention of taking this class, so I intend to take this class. Um, Remember, when you send me an email in the subject field, I want to see CIS1 first and then your first and last name so I know who you are. Okay. Um, if you send me an email, remember that if you're sending it to my Chafee account, uh, you include the email, your email address in the body of the email because it gets forwarded to my Cal State account. And so my return email will be my own Chafee email address. Uh, if you send it directly to the CSUSB um, email account, then you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> I can find your email address, your Chafee email address uh, from the class roster. So, but I'd rather you just give it to me. That way it's much easier for me to reply to you. Um, Assignments will be posted the first day I cover the topic and will be due on the due date. So next week, we're going to start Word, and I will post the Word assignments, uh, and they'll be posted in assignments, um, and they'll be due whenever the due date is on the roster, which isn't for a while because I give you guys plenty of time to make sure that uh, your Cengage is working and that you know how to do it so you can ask me questions. Um, <clears throat> Tests will be posted the week that I post the review video and will be due that Sunday. So I usually post things on Sunday night or Monday, uh, and then they'll be due the following Sunday. Uh, again, see the syllabus. I will talk about how to do tests and assignments in the lectures for those things, and um, I will give you detailed descriptions about some things. So make sure that you watch the videos. So uh, one of the things about being asynchronous is we don't have to be on campus from 530. My class is usually from 530 to 650. Uh, 650. Um, so we don't have to be on campus for an hour and 40 minutes twice a week <clears throat> where I would lecture and I would show you stuff. So uh, that's you know, three hours, let's see, uh, what am I doing? An hour 40 plus an hour 40 is 280. So it's uh, three hours and 20 minutes of lecture that we normally have a week. Um, whereas my videos tend to be around 40, 50 minutes uh, and you can kind of fast forward those. So I'll talk about that in a minute. So uh, that's what you are required to do. And now let me show you kind of how to do it. So let's go back to the home page. And if you notice right here, um, coming up, there's nothing for this week. 
uh, let me go to student view and see what this looks like from your guys' view. So you have a to-do thing that's here. I tend to send out uh, uh, announcements. So I use announcements a lot. And you'll see those. Uh, they'll come to your um, Chafee email and they'll show up in your inbox here. So uh, <clears throat> I use those at least once a week, sometimes more. Feel free to, uh, you know, reply, uh, et cetera, if you would like, uh, although most of them don't re require replies. Um, so there's nothing to do right now, but I do want to show you a couple of things. One, there's a test link and it says final exam. And when you click on it, it'll say access denied. Why? Because um, there's no test that's currently available for you to take. The link will be active when I post a test. The same thing holds true for oops, uh, assignments. Again, there are no assignments posted yet because our first assignment is the word assignment. So um, uh, that's not gonna get posted till next Monday. <clears throat> so again, you can't get there. I'm just showing you things that um, you may flip out about. Now for lectures, ah, the introduction to the class is not here yet because I haven't posted it, I'm still recording it. But there is the computer concepts module one which has been posted. Now I'm, I'm using a lot of my old videos uh, to, the subject matter is exactly the same, it's the same book. So I'm using a lot of my old videos. <laughs> Only some of them will be new. So in this case, uh, it's kind of long. It's an hour. And you can watch it. And I recommend that you watch it and change the playback speed to say 1.75. Now, I'm talking really fast. Uh, by the way, there are subtitles too. So you can use those. Um, when you hear something that you, you think is important uh, or you need to hear, uh, then you can you know, pause it, slow it down to regular speed uh, and listen to it. And you can listen to it again. You can watch the videos as many times as you want to. You can also, uh, they're posted on YouTube, so you can go to YouTube and you can watch it this way. Um, <clears throat> and I think here you should be, let me press dismiss. Um, you don't have to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, so anyway, that's, that's this, that's here. Uh, there are some other ones here that you can get to. And um, uh, although you don't have to, I will, I'll tell you everything you need to, to look at. Uh, this is a very important lecture, module one, because I cover a lot of stuff that the book doesn't cover. So let me close this. And let me go back to our homepage. So uh, there'll be an introduction to the class. I'd like you obviously to watch this video. Um, and you can do that anytime this week. So let me go back to home. And I know they're boring, but I, and there's nothing I can do about it. The, the lectures are boring too. So um, sorry. <clears throat> let me go back to the homepage and let me go to the book. Ah, uh, why don't I have access to view this resource? Did I not publish it? Oops. 
let me go off of student view and see what's going on. So I'm going to leave my student view. And I'm going to look at the book. Oh, no, I don't want to publish that. Huh. Okay, so uh, anyway, the reading is here. Uh, Computer Concepts Module 1, Impact of Digital Technology. And I'll try to figure out why it's not working. Um, and if you click on it, it will take you to the book eventually. Uh, now, if you don't have a Cengage account, it's going to ask you to sign in here. And then you can create a Cengage account. And when you get your access key, you can turn, you can uh, type that in, and then you'll be golden. Here, here is the reading. So concepts module one, impact of digital technology. Um, and you can click on this right here, and it will show you the ebook. And then you can turn the page. It also remembers where you left off. I would at least scan the, the chapters of the concepts book. Um, you don't need to read everything. Um, my lectures are more important than the book content. Sorry, that's uh, somebody at my front door. Uh, so I'll, especially for this first module, I tend to talk about a lot of stuff that isn't in the module. Okay. Um, we talk about digital versus analog and bits and bytes and how um, we store things on computers. And this is all of 1.1. Now, if I want to look at 1.2, I can close this and I can look at 1.2 just by clicking on it. It's still the first, first module. Uh, and you can see that here is the first page here. By the way, I told you that it remembers where you were. So if I close this and I look at 1.1, it's going to take me to the last page of that, that section. See the digital divide. Uh, and if I scroll back, to the beginning, well, let me outline and I close it and I open it again, it will, oops, clicked on the wrong one. It will take me back to that page, see? So it does remember where you were. Uh, there are six modules that we're going to be covering, um, but we don't cover them in order. Uh, well, we do one, two, and three, and then four, five, and six, but we don't cover them in uh, like, timeline so like we cover one and then we were do word and then we cover two and and three and then we do something else and and so it, it's kind of shuffled a little bit um don't worry about doing any activities here okay so don't don't actually look at this stuff and you know click on this to do the assignments do not that's bad. Do not do this. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to only access the assignments through the home page. So again, let me close this. Let me go to the home page. And let me go to assignments. And I will scroll down. And by the way, in assignments, the reading is also here. So let me go. Did I not get to assignments through the student view? I got to double check. Assignments. Access denied. Okay. Yeah. Um, so in the assignment section, I will have. Um, the reading, and there will be any assignments that you 
that you need. Right now, the only thing is the reading and watching the videos. Let's look at how an assignment works really quick. Uh, and I'll do this again, but let's just say that um, this has been assigned. So uh, what I wanna do is what I, I would wanna look at the reading for that. I'd wanna look at the lecture for module one also. Uh, by the way, in my lectures for the software, uh, I tend to give you hints and uh, you know this is difficult to do in the assignment. So here's how to do it exactly. So it's always a good idea to make sure that you have looked at my lectures. <clears throat> Here is the section Word 1.1, 1. 1. well, one, module one. Is it module one? Yes, Word module one. And you can see that it's giving me a, you don't have to do any of these independent challenges or practices. Uh, let's say that I want to know how to format text using the mini toolbar and ribbon. I can just click on that and it takes me to page 1.6. Yeah. And it talks about how to do it. Now, how do you actually go about doing an assignment? So what I would do is I would leave this open, although I'm not going to right now. Uh, and then I would go back to, sorry, close that. I would go back to the assignments. By the way, you can also click over here to assignments. Um, and then I would look at Word Module 1. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna load this in a new window. Again, if you haven't logged in or haven't created a Cengage account, uh, it will ask you to uh, log in or create a Cengage account. It says here, complete the project assignment, read each step completely before attempting it. Some steps uh, include multiple instructions. Do you have the correct version of Microsoft Office installed? Check here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll check here. Okay, never mind. It used to just give me a yes, you do. No, you don't. Uh, the maximum number of submissions are five. Number of submissions that I have remaining are five. Click start to begin the assignment. So there's a couple of parts to, to this. First, uh, I need the instruction file, the start file, and the support files. So I can click on download all. By the way, I'm looking up here because I have two screens. <clears throat> so my screen is up here. So I can click on download all. And I can say open. So here is the support file. Right now I would have saved it. Um, so there's the support file. Uh, I'm going to open the, one second, I'm going to open the instructions, and I'll put them up here, come on. So the instructions tell you getting started, open the file, save the file by changing the one to a two. Complete this sample. You'll also need to download and, say, and save the graduation picture. Uh, ensure that your first and last name is still displayed in the footer. Uh, if the footer does not display your name, delete the file and download a new copy. <clears throat> and then it says project steps. One, change the document theme to office. So let's take a look at what it is that I would be looking at. So I would be looking at this because this is the file. I'm gonna click enable editing here. And it wanted me to look at the bottom here, this file created specifically for Peter Watson, right? So it says that in the footer. So I'm good. It also wanted me to do a save as. So I go to file save as, and I need to change the name of the file from one to two. 
And I'll go ahead and put it on my desktop here really quick and hit save. And then it said, um, I forgot what it said. It said that the first thing that it wanted me to do was to change the document theme to office and then change the document theme colors to red. So I'm gonna go to uh, document theme. Now, where is that? Well, uh, in the book, it tells you, and I tell you in the lectures, but here it says um, themes. It's in the design ribbon. And I'm gonna click on office. So that changes it to office. And I'm supposed to then change the color to red. This changes the color palette. So you can see that my document already looks a little bit different than it did before. I'll click undo to show you what it looked like at the beginning. See, there's a bunch of stuff on the second page and I'll click redo. Then I would just go back and I would look at the next instruction. And by the way, I would print this out. I would print the instructions out because it's easy to check off where you are with a pen or pencil. It's easy, or to, at least for me, to have a piece of paper next to me with the instructions while I'm working on the computer. And then I can mark off where I am. If I get interrupted, I can stop and go somewhere else. When I am done doing all of this stuff, change the narrow, margins to narrow. So I'll do that. Back to my home. Uh, oh no, it's in uh, layout. I think margins, I'm gonna change them to narrow. And look, now I'm pretty much down to one page. Um, now, I would save this. And by the way, you can work offline. So you work offline for the assignment. And then uh, I could submit this. So let me close my Word document. And let me minimize this. Hopefully, oh, no, nope, it's not here. It's over here. So it's this one. So here I have my Word document, and I would make a folder for this class, CIS1, and I'd keep all my stuff in it. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to submit. Well, I'm going to need to move this. So let me put it here and let me maximize this. Okay, so right here, drag and drop here. So I'm gonna grab my file and I'm gonna drag and drop it to here. And it said it's good. So it see expected file name, it, it did get that expected file name and I press submit. Submission successfully graded. To resubmit the project, close the screen, and return to MindTap, relaunch the project, download, you save, blah, 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 and upload and submit it again. Okay, so let me click on the graded summary report, and I'm going to get a lot wrong. I'm going to open it with Word because I only did two steps. So, see, I got 12 points out of 100. I did this. See, there's a green check mark. So I did all of that. I got six out of six points here. I got six out of six points here. And then I didn't get any points for the rest of this. Now, in real life, you would have gone through and um, you would have done all of it. And maybe you would have missed one or two bits. Uh, and then you could just fix that. By the way, it also shows you what your document should look like. And uh, here it's showing me a whole bunch of errors that I have and where they are. Um, so what you would do is you would, you could print this out by the way, and um, then you could fix your errors. And then you, so I would just go back to my file, the file that I already have existing, right? And I would fix whatever the errors were that I had, and then I could resubmit it. And you can do that up to five times. See, I have four out of five, so I can fix it four times basically. What's the study guide thing? That's new. And what it did was, oh, 
it's showing you how to do the things that you missed. <laughs> okay, awesome. So this is new. Uh, cut and paste text. So this should take me to the book. I'm going to guess. Let's see, opening a whole bunch of windows. Skip. Oh, here we go. It did take me to cut and paste. It took me to that section of the book. Um, and what's this other thing? Um, cut and paste, copy and paste text. What's this? It's a training. Observe, practice, apply. Okay, it doesn't look like that's working too great right now. Let me try it again. So now it's working. Oh, look at that. It's telling me exactly how to do stuff. Oh, that's cool. So I'm going to close that because I hopefully we all know how to copy and paste text. Um, but um, Awesome. So uh, there's even little training videos that show you how to fix it. Uh, if you don't know how to do something, you can always ask me. And it's best if you ask me during my student hours, okay? Um, because then I can show you the answer instead of trying to type the answer, okay? So that's basically the overview of the class. There's some theoretical, there's some hands-on, and there's a lot of, well, there are assignments and there are tests. Uh, there's a lot of videos to watch or at least skim through, fast forwarding. And um, yeah, so hopefully you guys all have a good semester. Uh, I will be around uh, tomorrow, I think. And um, remember to check in with me. If you have any other questions, just let me know. And so there you go. Uh, have a great semester. Uh, stay in touch with me. Okay? Okay. We'll see you guys later. Bye.